I think my husband, 33M, is cheating with a student, 18F, what should I do? My husband, who's a high school math teacher, might be involved with one of his students, and I'm terrified. He's been teaching for about 10 years and has always been well regarded by everyone around him, students, parents, colleagues, and the administration. We've been together for seven years and we just tied the knot last year in 2023. Up until now, I've never once worried about him developing feelings for any of his students. We've even had deep conversations about teacher student relationships, and he's always made it clear how disgusted he feels about them. He views it as a complete abuse of power, even when the student is legally an adult. He's never given me any reason to think otherwise, and as far as I know, he's never been accused of being inappropriate. He's really careful about maintaining boundaries. He doesn't interact with students outside of school hours unless it's for school-related matters. Even then, all communication is strictly through school emails or with their parents. He often refers to his students as his kids and goes out of his way to keep things professional because he knows how young and attractive he is. Other male teachers have advised him to maintain that distance to avoid any complications. But now, I'm feeling this gut-wrenching fear that something might be happening behind my back. I can't shake the feeling and it's driving me crazy. What do I do from here? I need help figuring out how to navigate these feelings and this situation. It all started back in March on a typical evening at the movie theater. While we were enjoying our night, I noticed a group of girls nearby. They were giggling, pointing, and glancing our way. I turned to my partner, thinking they might be his students, and he confirmed my suspicion. We didn't go over to say hello, he usually greets his students when he sees them out, but he doesn't typically initiate conversations. The girls didn't approach us either. But then I caught sight of one girl, who seemed to be the center of attention. The others were playfully shoving her while whispering among themselves, and she looked at my husband with a shy expression. I couldn't help but wonder if she had a crush on him, but I brushed it off and didn't think about it again, until last weekend. We were celebrating Canada Day at a family BBQ, and my husband had a little too much to drink. At one point he excused himself to the bathroom, but didn't return for quite a while. I started to get worried he might be feeling sick, so I knocked on the door. When I called out to him he assured me he was fine and would be out shortly, but he never unlocked the door. After about 10 minutes, I was getting concerned. It was unusual for him to be in there for so long, but I figured he might just need a moment. Later that night, I woke up around 3 a.m. and noticed he wasn't in bed. My worry spiked again, so I got up to look for him. I found him sitting in the living room, staring at his phone, definitely not like him at all. When I asked what he was doing, he looked startled and quickly hit his screen. He claimed he couldn't sleep and didn't want to disturb me by watching videos in bed. We ended up going back to sleep together, but I couldn't shake off the feeling that something was off. The next morning he was nursing a hangover and slept in. I decided to check his phone, something I'd never done before because I had always trusted him completely. I didn't find anything alarming, except for the Snapchat app, which was logged out. I recall that he used to be active on it years ago, but I figured it was nothing and that I was just overthinking things. Fast forward to last night, while we were relaxing in front of the TV, a Snapchat notification popped up on his phone. My heart sank. I knew he had been logged out last week, which meant he was definitely using it again, but I acted like I hadn't seen it. A few minutes later he excused himself to take a long poop. I couldn't hold back the tears while he was in there. Once he was out I decided to go to bed early, leaving him to stay up alone since he was on summer break. When I woke up for work, he was still fast asleep. I couldn't help but check his phone again. This time, there was no Snapchat app on the home screen, which raised alarm bells. But when I searched for it, I found it hidden in a folder labeled with cooking and workout apps. I opened it and found just one conversation with a girl. The issue was that Snapchat deletes messages automatically, so I had no idea what they were talking about. In a desperate attempt to find proof, I kept snooping. In the same hidden folder, I discovered the OnlyFans app. To my shock, the only content creator he was subscribed to had the same username as the girl on Snapchat, the very same girl from the theater, the one who had been blushing. I recognized her face immediately and was hit with a wave of nausea. I was already disgusted but when I connected the dots I actually felt like throwing up. I panicked, worried that I'd wake him up, so I put his phone back and left for work, unsure of what to do. During my shift, I did some digging and found the girl's Instagram and Twitter accounts. She's 18, 
and from her graduation photos, I could tell she went to my husband's school. Even more shocking, the same OnlyFans link was in her Twitter bio. All day, he's been texting me like everything's normal, but I haven't replied to anything except to say I was heading to my parents' place tonight. In reality, I'm still at work, trying to process everything. This situation is so messed up, but since she's graduated I'm left wondering, is this just like any other affair? I don't even know if she was one of his students. Now I'm at a crossroads. Should I consult a lawyer? Do I confront my husband and see what he has to say? Should I reach out to her? The uncertainty is overwhelming, and I just don't know what to do next. Edit to add, does anybody know how to slash if you can tell when an app was first downloaded? TLDR, my teacher husband is Snapchatting slash subscribe to OnlyFans of a student of his school who is 18. Help! Comments. Blue Cat 1011. This will not stay a secret for long. If the other students know, this will come out sooner or later. Someone will post something, her parents will find out, but eventually it comes out. Best to protect yourself and get your own legal advice as well as counseling. Your husband is not who you thought he was, and that's a really hard thing to accept, so take the time you need to figure that out. However, you don't know if this was the first time he did it, or the first time he got caught. Either way, he should not be working in a school ever again, and should be reported, if if. Yeah, secrets like this don't stay hidden for very long in high school. The girl's friends know, so other people know and the farther from that inner circle you get, the less people care about keeping anything hidden. His career is doomed. Mel 221,144 A teacher watching a student on OnlyFans is bad enough to leave. You don't need proof. Almost teen. Honestly, I agree. Whether they have a physical relationship or not, he's viewing intimate material of his student and obviously conducting some sort of relationship with her that's horrific behavior. I would certainly consider it infidelity, and even if they weren't in active communication, his desire to view a student in a sexual context would be enough for me to be done with the relationship. Even Budget 2078. Mm okay. So you saw her at the movies in March and her friends were definitely acting like something was up with her specifically? When does the school year end in Canada? Meaning, did she just graduate in May or June and would have been at the high school in March? You need to see a lawyer. Do not talk about this with your husband for now. Do not talk to her. Please don't do that, that is not a good idea at all. Are you considering divorce or are you mainly concerned about ramifications to his job? I think you should talk to a lawyer about divorce, but that's me. For his job, op, this is up to you and I will not judge you if you don't, but please consider telling the school. I'm sorry but you now know your husband is a risk to his female students. I'm not saying it's a sure thing that he'll prey on another one. But, he is a risk, and I think you know this. So, if you know this, what is your obligation to girls at his school? Maybe just to add, that it is not okay for teachers to groom students, but not act on it until they leave. OP, school here finishes end of June, but high school students are done earlier to complete exams so mid-June. They graduate in May, as in celebrate and walk the stage, but return to school for exams. Divorce for sure unless I am mistaken. But, I am also praying I am, trying to find any way that this could be acceptable or ignored because I am heartbroken. My heart is shattered. I know I have an obligation to protect his students, but am struggling to this of this man as the one I married. I can't even think straight. What kind of lawyer do I get? I've never had one before. Just, divorce lawyer. Will they tell his school if I confide in them before I know the truth? Sail Blue. You have the girl's name? If so I'd confront him by asking about her. I'd ask when did he first subscribe to her OFAC just casually. When he denies I would ask if it was before or after they start snapping each other. Is it a paid subscription? Also, you can see when the app has been downloaded if on an iPhone you go to your apps in your settings. It will tell you the date of when the app was downloaded even if it's since been deleted. Your husband is gross BTW. This is a reminder to all PPL that usually when someone is sue against something there is a reason. The reason is often because they are attempting to cover up what they really think etc. Or because they believe if they show they are vehemently against it PPL will think that's true. Just like PPL who cheat often would be the first to discuss how horrible cheating is. 
OP, yes I know her name. Is there a chance that he is not engaging, and just subscribed? A chance that he has her Snapchat but isn't talking. Is there a chance I'm wrong? Should I check when it was downloaded before I ask? If he downloaded it after the school year ended and has not been engaging, is this the same as porn? It feels worse. Black Cat Sneak Attack Honey, you know the answer. You just want to believe in who you thought he was so badly. Why do you think the girl was so blushy? She knew he was a subscriber. OP, I know. But then I also think that I don't know without proof. Is what I have proof? We share a mortgage. And a cat. We have shared investments. We just passed our one-year anniversary. I thought I knew him and now I don't even know if I can go home. I don't know where to go. We've never so much as even had a fight where one of us sleeps at a friend's. If I go to my family or friends they will press me, and then I can't take anything back. Update one day later. Wow, my last post really took off, and I received a flood of comments urging me to update. I read every single one, but honestly, there were just too many to respond to individually. First off, let me clarify a few things. No. I don't have any pictures or screenshots from the Snapchat or OnlyFans accounts. I was so devastated in the moment that it didn't even cross my mind to grab evidence. I thought there would be more chances to get them later, but I realize now that I really messed up. In the early comments, I was still in shock. I want to be crystal clear, I'm definitely leaving my husband. It took me a while to accept what was actually happening, and come to terms with the denial I was living in. Reddit really helped me sort through my feelings, so thank you for that. The feedback I got was pretty split, half of you suggested I talk to a lawyer first, while the other half said I should confront my husband. The truth is, I didn't feel like I had anywhere else to turn at that moment. I was overwhelmed with emotions, and just needed to know the truth. I wanted to confront him directly and rip off the band-aid. He called me while I was still at work, and I ended up telling him we needed to have a serious conversation. He sounded thrown off and even cancelled his plans to stay home. By the time I got home, I had spent nearly three hours crying and trying to figure out what to do next. In hindsight, if you ever find yourself in a similar situation, please don't follow my lead. I wanted to take the advice of many commenters who suggested I say, I know about her, but I was desperate to find proof first. I thought I could play it cool, act like everything was fine until we went to bed, and then sneak back onto his phone for evidence. But in my emotional state, I shouldn't have said anything during that call. When I finally walked through the door, I immediately felt like he knew something was up. He greeted me with a cold, what's up, that just felt off. Whatever I said on the phone must have raised his suspicions. Or maybe he sensed that I had been on his phone earlier, pretending to be asleep. I couldn't tell. Overwhelmed by my emotions, I confronted him right then and there. I blurted out, do you have an OnlyFans? It was the first thing that came to my mind. He looked at me and said, No, what did you want to talk about? I told him I knew he did, but he flat out denied it. Frustrated, I told him I'd seen his phone that morning and scoffed before walking away. I chased after him, tears streaming down my face, crying and screaming that I knew about his only fans and Snapchat, that I was done with him. In a moment of desperation, I shouted that I knew he was cheating with his students. The instant I said that he whipped around furious and demanded to know what the hell I was talking about. When I brought up the girl, the 18-year-old student, his expression changed completely, and I felt like I was staring at a stranger. He erupted, yelling at me, insisting that I had no idea what I was saying. How dare I accuse him of sleeping with his students? He called me crazy and claimed I was trying to ruin his life. I shot back at him, screaming with all my might. Open your phone and show me. I challenged him. He laughed mockingly, throwing my accusation back in my face. Who would be stupid enough to do what you're claiming, he scoffed, then tossed his phone at me, saying, knock yourself out. As you might guess, I found nothing. It was obvious he'd known I was coming home to confront him. He was logged out of Snapchat, and when I demanded he log in, he switched to a different account and asked if I would just drop it now. The first account only had the girl and a couple of AI accounts, while this new one was filled with old college group chats and contacts, my name included. He gaslit me, swearing he didn't have another account, even suggesting I was imagining the whole situation. At one point he finally confessed, 
that he had subscribed to an OnlyFans for a streamer during a quiet moment in our intimacy, but he insisted he had never been involved with a student. He claimed he lied about it because he loved me and that he had moved past that kind of behavior. What followed was hours of lies and manipulation. He claimed he knew which student I was talking about, but insisted he had never spoken to or taught her. He denied even recalling an incident at the movie theater and accused me of making things up. When I mentioned a Snapchat I'd seen just a few nights before, he brushed it off. He denied everything. By the end of that torturous night, I felt utterly disgusted by him. As our conversation dragged on, he suddenly started talking about how he was going to arrange marriage counseling for us, saying my trust issues could be worked on. He offered to leave teaching if that's what it took for me to stay, but he never admitted to anything with a student. I'll admit, I started to feel a bit foggy, questioning my own reality, but when he suggested leaving teaching, it hit me hard. Teaching was everything to him. He had turned down an incredible opportunity that would have made him three to four times more money and brought him more recognition. He had never complained about his job, not once. I knew he loved his career more than he loved me. If this was truly just a misunderstanding or a one-time slip with someone who wasn't a student, he would have fought to protect his job, not throw it away over what he called my crazy behavior. That realization told me everything I needed to know. He was panicking inside, terrified of me leaving and of the truth coming out. Maybe there was more to his relationship with the girl than I understood, or maybe he had a history of this behavior. I didn't know for sure, but one thing was crystal clear. He had messed up badly. It was already late, and I was utterly worn out. I pretended to agree to work through our issues, telling him I could move past everything, but deep down I knew I was just lying. I needed time to sort my life out. Tonight he's sleeping in the guest room, and I made it clear that I needed plenty of space. Surprisingly, he said he was fine with that. He even left his phone in our bedroom as a so-called peace offering, but honestly, I can't stand him right now. My mind is racing with so many thoughts, what should I do next? How do I find a lawyer? Should I tell my family? What about the school? I don't have any solid proof, but I trust my instincts, I know what I saw. The weight of it all is crushing. The reality that I might be 33 and divorced is overwhelming. What really eats at me is the thought that my husband might have slept with this girl. His insistence that he would never sleep with his students just echoes in my head, especially when I use words like cheating or sexting. So that's where I am right now. I feel gaslit and betrayed. I barely got any sleep last night but forced myself to go to work today just to escape him. He hasn't reached out all day, not a text or a call. I'm filled with this urge to take my findings to the school. My heartbreak has shifted to pure anger and disgust. I want to confront him about this and force him to admit what he's done, but I doubt he'll ever come clean. I even considered telling him I contacted the girl just to see if that would rattle him into confessing. But what if she's in the dark, or he's using a fake account? I thought about claiming I have proof, even though I really don't. Anyone have any suggestions? For now, I'm on the hunt for a divorce lawyer. I need to take charge of this mess. TDLR, found proof of husband snapchatting slash subscribed to students only fans, but now all evidence is gone, and he gaslit me. Have no idea where to go from here besides start the divorce process. Edit, I am quickly edited to add, because so many people are saying, I don't need proof to divorce, and I know that. I'm leaving him 100% regardless. But I really want some proof. I want to prove to him that he can't lie to me and get away with doing this. I also think most people in his life will not believe me without proof. I'm scared of my name being slandered and him getting off scot-free or maybe even making me the bad guy for falsely accusing. I also want to know the extent because I need to know if he is sleeping with students or just being a creep. Edit 2. Thanks for all the comments, this blew up even more so I won't be able to reply to all. Have a meeting with a divorce lawyer at 4 p.m., we'll act accordingly based on their advice, and we'll update tonight comments. Even budget 2078. Op, first of all, I am glad you are safe. I was very concerned your husband might hurt you when he realized you knew about the student. I know you got so many comments, I am the law professor from your earlier post. Please get a lawyer and then go directly to the school. You don't need proof in the way that you mean. 
you tell them exactly what you found, and they will open an investigation. As you already know, this girl's friends know what is going on. It will not take long for whatever the specific facts are to unravel. Also, you do have evidence. Your testimony about what you saw is evidence. Yes, the school will need to corroborate your statement, that is their job BKW, but you certainly have evidence sufficient to alert the school at this point. Please do so. I'm not going to repeat what I said earlier about the many reasons why, but simply that I think you know it is the right thing to do to protect the students your husband has access to as a teacher. I'm very sorry this happened and really hope that you also get therapy if you can to deal with all of this and your husband's gaslighting. Ida, I just want to respond to this comment because it's concerning. I want nothing more than to go to the school with this info, my heartbreak is gone, and I'm just angry and disgusted and want to right his wrongs, but I need him to admit to it so I can know how bad it is and I don't think he will. Op, you do not need him to admit anything to you in order to go to the school. You are not the intermediary here for him. The school will carry out its own investigation, and the facts will then come out, and you will know how bad it is. You are not an investigator or prosecutor of your husband. You have evidence of a concerning nature about the safety and welfare of students involving a teacher at the school. What else is there is not your job to find. I would really advise you do not engage directly with your husband anymore on this topic. He has already become extremely angry with you for raising it, and you pushing for information is going to be interpreted as a threat from him. Please disengage ASAP from your husband, leave this in the hands of the school, and get to a safe place where you can organize your divorce. Do you have somewhere you can stay? Go there. Do not talk to your husband and definitely don't tell him things to see if it freaks him out enough to come clean. This is extraordinarily dangerous. Please do not do any such thing. Extension Accident 47 You don't need proof. You know what you saw, you saw the red flags last night. Hire a lawyer and get the divorce process started before things get any worse. Your husband has a lot to lose, don't let him pull you down with him. Get out ASAP.